When we were sitting and drawing those lines between now and 2030, in every case I sat there saying, but if we have innovation, if we have a breakthrough, we can do better than the best case. One has to be excited about the great progress that has been made in global health. The halving in under five mortality between 1990 and today. The halving in maternal mortality. Will we rest on our laurels or will we do something more? To my mind, it really is very much resonant with the Grand Challenges enterprise to think about how can we accelerate that progress. What is Grand Challenges? It is a tool to define critical problems that if solved would help improve progress towards the sustainable development goals. That's what Grand Challenges is about, opening up to the world, saying, these are the questions we're struggling with. Tell us your best ideas. Grand Challenges is really that community of innovators and the ecosystem of funding partners that help them to be successful. What we've learned is that innovations can come from anywhere. It can be the wedding dress designer that designs the space suit to protect people from Ebola. So we don't seek risk for risk's sake, but we're willing to take risks in pursuit of impact. Most of what we do won't work. We just need to get lucky ones. No one sees the next big thing coming until it's here and it's changing our life. Partnership for us is absolute core of what we do. Governments, NGOs, foundations, philanthropists, the private sector, all have a stake in improving human capacity. One of the other things that happens when we work with local partners is, frankly, we learn. The Brazilians put their own twists and the Indians put their own twists, and so will the Africans. Based on your local context and your local reality, and we believe that it makes the projects that we get that much stronger. If I just think about some of the solutions that have emerged from the Grand Challenges enterprise, I'm just incredibly impressed. And I see uh, different countries now actually proposing and implementing their own Grand Challenges. In India, we have a number of Grand Challenges that we've looked at, be it the All Children Thriving or the Agriculture Nutrition, the Reinvent the Toilet Challenge, and now, of course, we're looking at other new ones. Within Brazil, there's a big change, I think, in how important it is to work in partnerships, in collaboration, in open science. It's been nice to see the family of Grand Challenges uh, growing in Africa. We are talking to Botswana, to Kenya, to Ghana. So the biggest impact is just being part of a community that is working together on solving global challenges. You know, a lot of these innovations don't just work in one country, they can work across the world. Well, the next 10 years should be very exciting. The net effect of Grand Challenges will be a, a massive return. These investments really will be traceable to saving millions of lives. We can not only achieve the sustainable development goals, but we could actually beat it. There's no question it's a hard thing, that it's very ambitious, but there is also great momentum because the world is unified like never before, and this is an outlet to do the right thing.